Hi friends, my name is Mr. Lucas. Welcome, I'm so excited to be here with you today. And I'm Miss Milana. Hey, do you remember what kind of animal our friend is who likes to help us dig, dig, dig into God's word? That's right, a hedgehog. And do you remember what his name is? Yes, his name is Hamilton. And something that I know about hedgehogs is that they get really scared if we're too loud. So we're not gonna call him with our loud voices. We're gonna call him with our gentle voices because we don't wanna scare him. So how about right now on the count of three, we're gonna use our gentle voices to call Hamilton. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hamilton. Hamilton. Let's see if he's coming. We might have to oh, call oh, him again. Oh, oh, he's jiggling. He's Ooh. jiggling. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I, 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 I think I see him in there. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. I think he's, he's bringing us a he's, clue. He's coming. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, Hi, we got him. Hamilton, there's something hanging oh. down here. What do you got? What do you have? Let me see. Oh, oh. please. Please, thank you. What does he have in here? Oh, friends. Look at that. It's gold. Gold? It's gold. I wonder what it has to do with the big God story. Hmm. You know, I bet it's a clue. Oh. Hamilton, are you ready to hear this part of the big God story? Oh, me too, but before we get started, do you know where we can find the big God story? Maybe our friends know. That's right. God's big book, the Bible. And God gave us the Bible so that we can learn about him. And I know how much you love to help us dig, dig, dig right into God's word to find out what he has to say to us. Isn't that right, Hamilton? Mm -hmm. So how about we all stand up and sing our Bible song together? Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word. So let's look in the Bible. Welcome, friends. My name's Miss Elaine, and I'm so glad you're here. Our story today comes from the book of Revelation, which is the very last book of the Bible. We know, since it's in the Bible, that it really true and it really happened. Now, Jesus told John and the other disciples a little bit about heaven and how he was going there to prepare a place just for us. One day in the future, Jesus has promised that he will come back and take everyone who loves and follows him to join him in heaven. If you think that's good news, give me two big thumbs up. That's such great news. But have you ever wondered what heaven looks like? I, I know I sure have. One day, as John was thinking and praying, God allowed him to see visions or pictures of what heaven would look like. And an angel helped him understand what he saw. The angel told John to write everything down that he was seeing so others could know about heaven too. And so he did. And in God's special book, the Bible, you'll see it all. Now, God talks about how the buildings in heaven are gonna be made out of precious stones like jewels. And the gates are gonna be made with one giant pearl. And the streets, the streets will be paved with gold. Now here on earth, we may think gold is valuable and important, but in heaven, they walk on it. Heaven will be wonderful. Let's look at what else will be in heaven. The Bible says there will be great feasts in heaven, and I wonder what sort of food we will eat. Maybe there'll be fountains of chocolate. They might have chicken nuggets every day. Think about the food that you like to eat the most. Do you have an idea in your head? Well, in heaven, everything is better, which means the feast will probably taste better than anything we've ever eaten. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that making you hungry? Yeah, me too. And the Bible also tells us that when we are in heaven, we will worship God. 
everybody will be singing and praising God, and that makes me want to shout hallelujah. Let's do that together. Ready? One, two, three. Hallelujah! I can't wait to praise God together forever. And do you know what the best part of heaven will be? That's right. We will get to spend all of our time with our friend Jesus forever. Did you know that Jesus wants to be your friend forever? He does. Jesus wants to be my friend forever too. Let's practice saying that together. Ready? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Good job, boys and girls. The Bible also tells us some things that won't be in heaven. And like this bandage. Did you know we won't need any bandages in heaven? No, because we won't need them because there'll be no pain. And we won't get hurt. And we won't get sick. So we won't need medicine. And the Bible also says there'll be no more tears or sadness. Nothing to make us cry. Nothing frightening or scary. So we won't need tissues. And we also won't need light because God's glory is going to provide the light. That sounds incredible, but mate, that means there'll be no nighttime. And of course, that means there'll be no bedtime. Woohoo! If that makes you excited, stand up and jump up three times. No more bedtime. One more time. And no more bedtime. All right. You know what this says? The Bible tells us there will be no more sin. Everything will be perfect with God forever. That's very good news. Heaven is going to be wonderful. Jesus is coming back, and when he does, he will take all of his forever friends with him to heaven. Anyone who has asked him to forgive their sins will get to live with him forever. Let's pray and thank God that he made heaven so wonderful. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you that you made heaven so wonderful. Thank you that you listened to our prayers. I know that you are preparing a heaven for your friends. Thank you for how much you love me. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today, boys and girls, and being such great listeners. I'll see you next time. I love hearing about how amazing heaven will be. You know, I think we should do our memory verse that tells us how we can trust Jesus because he never changes. How about we all say it together? Okay, it goes like this. Jesus Christ, Christ is, is the same, same yesterday, yesterday and, and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Let's say it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Wow. I love hearing you say that verse. It was so fun to learn together today and to learn that Jesus is coming back. I hope you know how much Jesus wants to be your friend forever. We'll see you next time. And remember, God loves you so much. And we do too. Bye, Bye friends. friends. God made me. God made me. to be and he wants to be my
friend 